Welcome back to another segment of Atarian Life here in the studio with Lawrence Meyer. Skynav, another term that has a big sound to it and a big vision behind it. Using one controller for multiple vehicles. What do you think, Lawrence? Is that really what is needed? Yes, that's needed, but then we really need to have all those vehicles networked so they can talk to each other. You can assign tasks to them uh, at the same time. You can potentially even have tasks being automatically broken down to a fleet of potentially drones and ground vehicles. Like if, for example, if you would have a asset inspection of a cell tower or something, Maybe there are tasks that are better done from the ground, right, if you have that whole long-term vision. Now, SkyNav is really a series of products, and you could call it the name of a vision at Autarian, where we want one controller to be able to talk to multiple vehicles at the same time to whole fleet. And what's really important to us is that this is really easy to use and that it has a great user experience from also mechanical uh, form factor, the way the haptics work. Now, does that mean that Autarian is now very focused on ground controller hardware? I wouldn't say that. We think it's a problem we have to solve for our end customers, but it doesn't mean that we're now very focused on, on making ground controller hardware. We're working with partners. Uh, we're certainly very opinionated on the user experience because we think the drone industry still has some way to go there. And the key thing is one controller, multiple vehicles, locally or even remotely, we are 4 or 5G. So standardization of an operation in essence, it's, it's a much easier way to operate either a single unit when you can switch from one to the other and have still the same controller, same user interface, or then like you said in the future where one controller can operate and send commands to multiple vehicles. It sounds so far-fetched. How far away are we from that reality? As a company, we can do it today. I mean, we can drive rovers around, we can fly VTOL drones, multi-copter drones, fixed-wing drones with a single controller, even with different types of radios depending on the application. As an industry, this is still something that a lot of people think is futuristic and where we just have to do more education to show what actually is possible. In our next segment, we're going to talk about autonomous versus autonomy. Two terms that sound very, very similar, but what are the differences between the two? Stay tuned. <laughs>